Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another video on ForgottenWeapons.com. I'm Ian McCollum and I'm here today in Slovenia at the RX factory where they have generously given me access to a Slovenian issued F2000S. This is slightly different than the standard F2000 and we're going to take a look at what makes it different. But first, let's put a few rounds through it. The F2000 was not one of FN's more successful rifles, but they did sell it to a number of countries, including Slovenia. And the Slovenian model is actually a little bit different than the standard production gun. So the deal is, uh, Slovenia was looking for a new combat rifle in the mid-2000s, and the main contender in this contract was the G36. Um, RX actually, having done a bunch of OEM manufacturing work for FN, was of course aware of the Slovenian Army tender, they were aware of the F2000, they already made parts for it for FN, and they decided it would be a cool idea to submit the F2000 to Slovenian military trials. They thought it was better than the G36. However, there were, well there was one particular specific requirement in the Slovenian Army tender that the standard F2000 didn't uh, meet, and that was the requirement to have a carry handle. And so what RX did was basically they went to FN and they said, look, we'd really like to submit this to the Slovenian military trials, but it's got to have a carry handle, so can we redesign it to have that? And FN goes, yeah, sure, not a problem at all. And then RX goes, also, by the way, the tender is in like six weeks, so we need it in like four weeks. And FN, that's impossible, not going to happen. It's going to take two years to redesign a rifle like that. Well. Um, RX was not willing to take no for an answer, and so they went back and in-house here in Slovenia designed a new upper assembly for the F2000 that incorporated a carry handle. It raises the, the Picatinny rail here just a bit, a little bit better uh, sight offset for iron sights. The original F2000 is a bit low unless you've got really tall iron sights. Uh, and then modified the other parts as necessary to fit the new carry handle. So let's take a look at what they put together for tender, and then we'll talk about what ended up happening with it. So in basically every detail other than this upper aluminum assembly, this is identical to a standard F2000. I should also point out we have an Aimpoint Comp M2 here with a 4 MOA dot. That is the specific optic that was requested and used by the Slovenian army. Now if I bring in a standard F2000, you can see the difference here. So this polymer block remained the same but the aluminum upper assembly has been lifted up, extended backwards a bit. There, the rear iron sight is integrated in. So that's mounted back there. It's just an aperture sight. You can flip it up for generic backup irons. The front sight, however, is a bolt-on extra component that you can completely remove. The standard F2000 has a uh, sling swivel out here in the front. In fact, it's on both sides right there. The Slovenian pattern actually extends that slightly farther out away from the rifle to make it a little easier to use. And last but not least, the markings on the Slovenian rifles are slightly different than standard F2000s. They are marked with an SV, which stands for Slovenian Army, and then the serial number. Obviously these aren't in their own serial number range, that's part of overall F2000. Uh, production. The designation on this is not marked anywhere on the rifle, but according to FN it is the F2000S, and then AX is actually a marking for RX, because they make a number of the components in the rifle. Uh, they made barrel extensions, they made the new upper uh, receiver assembly, they made the bayonet lugs, and they made a number of other parts, because as I said they had been an OEM parts manufacturer for FN before this trial took place. All right, you may have figured out, since I already said that this was a Slovenian military F2000, or F2000S specifically, that they did in fact win the contract with this. Uh, in two, between 2006 and 2007, rifles were actually delivered to the Slovenian army, a total of 6,500 of them. And uh, this remains the only non-standard version of the F2000 rifle. It's since gone out of production because, like I said at the beginning, this wasn't one of FN's more successful models. but pretty cool to have an example of one here. So before we close this out, let's take this over to RX's range, put a few rounds through it, see if it's actually different from a regular F2000. Alright, one 
F2000S on the ring. If I'm going to be perfectly honest, it feels just like shooting an F2000, uh, just with a slightly higher optics riser. Well, I'd like to give a big thanks to RX Defense for giving me the opportunity to come in and take a look at their factory and pull out one of their F2000S rifles to show to you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.